Let's talk briefly about albedo. Albedo is essentially the climate science jargon term for surface reflectivity. And this is a really crucial concept for climate science because the different surfaces on Earth absorb the energy received by the sun to different degrees. And essentially this is the sort of the concept of the black t-shirt versus the white t-shirt, right? The white t-shirt is cooler because it reflects a lot of the incoming sunlight. Uh, the black t-shirt absorbs a lot more and so you heat up more if you wear a black t-shirt. And let me give you a couple of examples. So the open ocean absorbs almost all of the incoming sunlight radiation. Namely, the reflectivity is 0 0.06, which means 6% of incoming radiation is reflected. And the other 94% is absorbed. And then, for example, grass, green grass, is typically of the order of 0.25 albedo, so 25% is reflected. And then the most reflective natural surfaces that we have in the climate system are fresh snow, which has a albedo of about 0.8, so 80% of the incoming radiation is reflected. And then we also have clouds, um, which play a really important role and for clouds, the albedo varies uh, from anything to 0 to 0 0.8. And if we look at Earth on average, and this is at the top of the atmosphere, TOA, albedo A is about 0 0.3. So about 30%, and this is mostly due to clouds, about 30% of the incoming solar radiation is straight away reflected back into space without entering the climate system. So what does that mean? Like now we can change our Stefan Boltzmann law a little bit. So now we don't have the planet that's black anymore. It's more similar to a gray surface, meaning that of the 340 watts per meter squared that are coming in from the sun, 30% or roughly 100 watts per meter squared are reflected straight back out. And only 240 watts per meter squared are actually absorbed into the climate system. Okay, so we could assume that we can write our new energy balance as albedo times F black earth is sigma t to the 4 of gray earth. And if we solve this again, write t of gray earth, tge, as a f b e over sigma, then we get And what we find is that the new temperature is actually 255 Kelvin for a gray Earth without an atmosphere. Now, that is roughly zero Fahrenheit, which is way too cold. And if I ask you, why are we not all freezing? Well, obviously, we've neglected a crucial component of the climate system here that keeps us all nice, cozy, and warm, which is our atmosphere. And the role that the atmosphere plays in the energy balance is a little complicated, and that's what we will be doing next.